Though some counties are asking you not to do any open burning, there are people who aren't complying. So when a burn ban is in place, how is it enforced? News Channel 15's Lamar Holiday went out to a local fire department to find out. Well, Heather, fire officials say they rely on people like you to help with enforcement. They say people are, be, are becoming more vigilant, and when they see someone burning, they're calling it in. If you drive down Lima Road in Huntertown, it's clear to see there's a burn ban in place, but Huntertown firefighters are still reminding people and putting out fires. A couple days ago, we reported on some kids playing with fireworks in the backyard. Concerned neighbors saw that, which in turn turned into be an actual call because the backyard did start on fires. Robert Bourne with the Huntertown Perry Township Volunteer Fire Department says fireworks are banned under the Huntertown ordinance when a burn ban is in place. Tyler Busick lives in the town and believes people aren't going to let a burn ban take away from their 4th of July fun. I still expect people to get fireworks, but I mean, it's, wor it's probably not worth the risk, though. Unfortunately, no matter what, and no matter what laws are passed or anything like that, people are going to do what they want to do. Bourne says that's why the enforcement starts with you. After finishing our interview, the fire department got a call from a driver witnessing someone burning. We followed them to the house the driver called in, and when we arrived, the contained fire was being put out. Our homeowner was very understanding. She was a little confused on what the uh, actual burn ban was. She thought it was open burning since so she had it in a closed container with a, a grate over the top. She thought it was a perfectly safe fire. And under the burn ban, there's no burning whatsoever. So this was just a real routine call that we've been getting through the burn ban. Bourne says when the fire department goes out and catches someone burning like in the video, it does warn, they do warn them about the ban. If they're caught burning again, at least in Huntertown, people could face a $50 fine. And the fines do vary from county to county. If you are not sure about your county's burn ban, you can call your local fire department to get that information. I think the bottom line is no flames. No flames, no burning at all. All right. Thank you, Lamar.